Loading. Accessing. Processing. File. Online. Recovering archives. Dot dot dot. Welcome user. I'm Mainframe. Please stand by. Hello users. Welcome to Mainframe. Recommends. Loading recommends archive. R. 1. T. Dollar sign. 8. Entitled. Global frequency. Please stand by. Global Frequency is a 2005 on-air TV pilot directed by Nelson McCormick starring Michelle Forbes and Josh Hopkins Sean Flynn I'm Miranda Zero and you are on the Global Frequency Global Frequency The Global Frequency Yeah, I've seen the news, everybody's heard of you, it's just the global frequencies in urban life. Back in the ancient times of 2005, a pilot was being produced called Global Frequency. Set to make an adventure of the week story based on Warren Ellis's comic series of the same name. The series had much potential, but was wasted when Warner Brothers scrapped the project after it was leaked on the internet. The plot of Global Frequency is that the Global Frequency is an independent, covered, intelligence organization, headed by a former intelligence agent who uses the alias of, Miranda Zero. There are reportedly 1001 people on the global frequency, forming an active smart mob, communicating by specially modified video mobile phones, through a central dispatch system. It should be noted that Global Frequency is much like the Fox Network TV show, Fringe, and The X-Files, often investigating or encountering strange activities that must be dealt with. I have Nadia Kroshin from Small Links, Nadia Track Jenkins, or as we know his Russian name, Puchekin. Puchekin was Soviet army. Nothing special until his file notes. He tested high on a graft Zimmer test. He disappeared after that. Uh, if I may. Uh, Dr. Kane, medical historian, retired. Dr. Elias Graf Zimmer was disbarred after intrusive medical experiments attempting to prove the existence of psychic phenomena among African Americans in the late 1950s. Intrusive? Uh, he drilled into their heads. Who do we have on paranormal research in the Soviet Union, late 60s, early 70s? Danny Foyle, Archivist, Library of Congress. The 14 Times had copies of KGB files from that decade. No names, but Nadia sent me Jenkins, Tekin's uh, serial number. Now, it matches up to something called Operation Mercury. Mainframe recommends you view this pilot before it is lost to time. Please stand by. <laughs> 